It's been tricky but interesting to work on a guide for Mirage because he's so flexible. The balancing that makes his gun feel kind of clunky and weird early means it scales really well with fire rate and magazine size. His crowd control and ultimate mean he can be surprisingly effective building tank or utility items, just being annoying and always being in the right position to support his team. His spirit scalings can make his scarabs and passive chunk the entire enemy team in the late game. My preferred build does a little bit of everything, leaning in different directions at different points in the game. The point of it's not to tell you which version of Mirage is best, but to give you a solid base that you can customize depending on preference and how the games are playing out. I'm Symphoneers, and before we get too deep into things, let's cover some basics. Mirage's passive, like Haze's, is one of his defining features. However, unlike Haze's passive, it doesn't scale with repeat shots. You can only apply a new stack of it once every two seconds by default. His scarabs also don't reward focus fire. They can't hit the same enemy twice. Combine this with the fact he doesn't have a combat ultimate, and it means he's much less able to burst down enemies compared to the rest of the cast. The good news is, the way his skills work mean he's very effective in sustained skirmishes. The longer the fight is, the more likely it is that Mirage will be victorious. I think this is the key thing to keep in mind in order to effectively apply pressure with him throughout the game. Also, while his tornado is his best way to set up an aggressive trade due to the lift and the bullet dodge it gives him, don't be afraid to use it defensively. You can use it to disengage from a bebop hook or a mow and krill ultimate. You can dodge annoying area abilities. Or if you have good timing, you can even do things like blank 7's bomb so long as it explodes during the tornado travel time. It's like an Elden Ring dodge roll. The iframes are incredible. Anyway, let's talk about early weapons. Starting out, I like to grab basic magazine, high velocity mag, and monster rounds. The magazines upgrade into Titanic Meg and Pristine Emblem respectively, and I think they give Mirage a nice spread of offensive stats while still having some defensive resistances. Monster rounds are helpful because they let you push lane aggressively, which does two things. One, less time shooting creeps is more time you can spend taking pot shots at the enemy and applying his passive. Two, it lets you look for early opportunities to use Mirage's ultimate. We'll talk more about early ultimates in a minute, but briefly, you want to look for preferably two-player lanes that are at, like, half health, where you can make a difference. Later in the game, I do really like Ricochet on Mirage. It helps with applying his passive to multiple targets, letting it scale better in teamfights, and it also helps scale a bunch of other items I like on Mirage as well. To stick with weapon items, Tesla bullets and slowing bullets are also good pickups on him that scale with Ricochet. Also, honorable mention to Fleetfoot. One of the general ways I think about itemizing Mirage is creating the biggest possible speed difference between you and your opponents, meaning speed boots for you and debuffs for them. This lets you better control and prolong fights. Moving on to vitality items, I like Enduring Spirit and Healing Right early on Mirage, combined with the scarabs that give him a ton of cost-efficient early game sustain. I also like to actually upgrade Healing Right into Health Nova, pretty early too. Now, I know some people hate building any support item, but Health Nova just makes his early game ultimates more consistently impactful. You can single-handedly reverse fights and deny kills by teleporting in with a well-timed heal. Even if your timing's a little off and your team isn't actively fighting, just dropping off a health nova heal and harassing some enemies a little before zipping back to your lane can be great. It makes an evenly matched lane even more likely to go your team's way. Even in the worst case scenario where your team sucks and is difficult to support effectively, health nova is actually pretty reasonable as a selfish item, just using it for lane sustain. I've experimented a bit with buying more support itemization just to see how it felt. Divine Barrier can be a nice defensive alternative to Fleetfoot, and the move speed on Rescue Beam feels great, although in general I feel like buying support items beyond Health Nova reduced my ability to be an effective damage dealer, so proceed with caution. 
If you really just hate the idea of buying any support items, or if you're getting fed early and want vitality items that will help you carry, I do like both Combat Barrier and Enchanter's Barrier on Mirage. I'll also pretty much always buy Enduring Speed, and round things out with Bullet Life Steal or a light game pickup like Inhibitor, Leech, or Siphon Bullets. Spirit. Spirit items on Mirage are in my opinion, the most fiddly. For example, I think Mystic Burst is fairly weak on him early. His Scarabs don't trigger it because they don't actually deal damage, they steal health. And his Tornado needs additional items for its damage to be strong enough to trigger it. But Improved Burst, its upgrade? Incredible. By the late game, Mirage's passive will be strong enough to pretty reliably trigger Improved Burst. So if you're applying his passive to multiple enemies with Ricochet, getting a few stacks and then popping it, he can take away half the enemy team's health in a few seconds. Improved cooldown is okay on him, but it gets better with activated items like Fleetfoot or Health Nova. Duration Extender can be good, but it gets better once you have something like Slowing Bullets. Because of this, I tend to delay spirit items pretty late, picking them up once I've committed to a direction for the rest of the build. One of the most common spirit pickups for me is Suppressor, and its upgrade Mystic Slow, especially if I've already picked up Tesla Bullets or Slowing Bullets, since the slows from items stack, and they're very good once they start stacking. It's worth restating that other people will do a very spirit-focused Mirage build, grabbing things like Extra Spirit, Surge of Power, etc. This can totally work, I just think weapon and vitality items give Mirage a more consistently strong early game, which is why I often end up leaning on them. Wrapping up, here's the skill order I use, and what a complete build might look like for me on Mirage. The build is available through the in-game browser if you want to import it there. I haven't been working on any other characters while I've been playing Mirage, so I don't currently have a follow-up in this series planned. Let me know if there's anyone else you'd like to see one of these simple guides for in the comments. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe, support me on Patreon, etc. All of that stuff helps way more than you might think. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, Bye bye